Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot new Zorin OS 18 and Windows 10 or 11 so let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and go to the official website of Zorin OS and download the Zorin OS Core Edition. Since I've already done that I'm not going to do it again and after that go to another tab and search for Rufus. Go to official website and download the Rufus to make a bootable USB of Zorin OS. So once you have done both of that, exit your web browser and then open your downloads directory and open Rufus. Now insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make a backup of your pen drive data first. And after that, select the Zorin OS ISO file which you just downloaded earlier. And for the partition scheme, search for system information. And if your BIOS mode is UEFI, then you need to select GPT, otherwise you can leave it on MBR. So mine is UEFI, so I'm going to select GPT. And after that, click on start. So this process is going to take a while, so you may be patient. So after that, close Rufus. And close everything and right click on your start menu and open disk management. So after that, right click on your local disk C and select shrink volume. Now give at least 60 GB of space for Zorin OS. So for this video, I'm going to give 70 GB of free space and click on shrink. And after that, close disk management and right click start menu and reboot your computer and boot into Zorin OS now while your computer is rebooting press the boot menu key which is usually the F12 key or escape key to open the boot selection menu and from the boot selection menu you need to choose the USB option to boot into the live environment of Zorin OS now choose the option which says try or install Zorin OS Here you can also press Ctrl C to cancel the file system check. To So finally we have put it into the live environment of Zorin OS. So if you haven't tried Zorin OS, you can also click on try Zorin OS before installing. So if you have tried and want to install, then click on install Zorin OS. Now choose your keyboard layout and your language. After that, I also recommend you to connect to Wi-Fi network before installing. After that, click on continue. <laughs> now make sure that all of these check boxes are checked and click on continue. So now this is the installation type for Zorin OS so you have multiple options here so since we are going to dual boot I recommend choosing the first option which is install Zorin OS alongside Windows Boot Manager which is the safe option. You can also choose something else if you want to tinker the partitions yourself but 
since this first option is the simplest I'm going to choose this option and click on continue now it will show what the changes will be made so if you are okay with it just click on continue now select your time zone and now enter your user details and password now this Zorin OS installation will begin and this may take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part Finally the installation is complete, now click on restart now. Now remove your pen drive and press enter. Now while your computer is starting, go to the BIOS menu by pressing the F2 key. Now change the boot priority so that Zorin OS has the highest boot priority and then press F10 to save and exit. Now when you start your computer now you will see a menu to choose between operating systems. So first I am going to boot into Zorin OS to check if it is installed or not. So as you can see Zorin OS is installed. So now let's reboot and try to boot into Windows. So as you can see we are able to boot into windows as well so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe thank you